Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be using the paint tools in Adobe After Effects to turn an image like this, which has got a fairly grey washed out palette, into an image that looks like this, a nice beautiful sunset. Now one of the problems the low budget or micro budget filmmaker has working in Britain is that often we don't have the privilege of some of the light you might get in some other countries. A lot of the time also, if it's students who are making films in particular, a lot of the shooting is often done during the October to sort of March, April months. And it may be the case that when you actually go out and shoot, a lot of your light may end up looking like this. Now the composition looks fine, it's actually got a decent sense of perspective, it's a pretty well balanced, graphically pleasing shot, but the colours don't look that great. So we're going to use the paint tools in After Effects to give us something that looks a bit more romantic, and a little bit more stylized, and we're going to go for a nice sunset and an autumnal glow. Now the first thing to do is when you actually want to do some painting work in After Effects, I'd recommend that you start by going to Window, going to Workspace, and actually putting your workspace on Paint. You don't actually have to do this, but you probably will find the workflow a little bit easier to get your head round. So let's start by clicking on Paint. And I'm just going to, I've got the paint tool selected here actually at the moment, or the brush tool rather. I'm just going to deselect that and I'm just going to push some of my windows back into a more navigable space. There we go. Now when you put it into the paint mode, you've now got two layers that you can see. The actual video layer itself and also the composition layer or the comp window rather. Down here of course we've got the video clip. And effects is here, and if you actually open effects, there's the paint that I've actually painted on. I've deselected it at the moment, so if I turn it back on, there's a little FX button, you can see our overall aim. So we're trying to go from this kind of bland, washed out colour to something a bit more romantic and stylized. Right, let's remove that paint effect and let's get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is select the paint tool up here, and you've got three paint tools brush clone and erase. For this tutorial we're going to stick with just the brush tool. Let's select it. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make sure I've got a, you've got two types of brushes, you've got hard brushes and soft. I'd recommend soft for the time being. I'm going to go to my diameter and I'm going to probably set a pretty big size, maybe somewhere between 500 and 600, uh, let's go for say 550, so a pretty big size brush. And I'm going to start by going up to my colour here, my foreground colour, and I'm going to select a nice sort of yellow glow. Let's see if I can get it a little bit less green. That'll do. Click on OK. And then up here, actually I might make that a little larger. Let's make that maybe just over 600. I'm going to do one click and just sweep across the image like so. When I've finished, I'm going to go back on my normal selection tool just to avoid painting again by accident. So I'm going to select here. So this is my video layer where I've done the painting. And this is the comp layer, the actual final composition on the left. And as we can see, obviously, as a piece of painting, it doesn't look that great. It almost looks like a piece of uh, spray paint graffiti. So if you open the layer here, open effects, open paint, you can actually start to blend it into the image a bit more effectively. I'm just going to raise this up a bit so we've got a little bit more room to view and see what we're doing. That's better. I'm going to open brush one. In fact, before I do actually, before I actually open brush one, I'm going to label it because we're going to do a bit of painting here and you can sometimes get confused between which paint layer you're working on. So I'm going to click on it, hit the return key, and let's just call this one yellow. Just so as we know which one we're working with. Now the first step you probably want to work with is actually change the blend mode here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go for add. Now I don't want to run through how the blend modes work because I've done that in a previous tutorial. So if you want to have a better understanding of blend modes, please look for that tutorial on this YouTube channel. I'm going to select add and it mixes the yellow behind the trees. Or rather it mixes the yellow with the green of the trees. And it's blown out a lot of the whites here. 
Now, of course, that's a little bit overdone. So I'm going to open the settings here, open stroke options. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to adjust the opacity and the flow. Let's take those down a bit just so it's a little bit more naturalistic. We want a bit more of the green coming back through the trees. Let's maybe put it down to about, I'd say that'll do. Again, I'll let you adjust it according to taste. I've left mine to about, in fact, I'll just do a nice neat 50-50 on both. We've got a nice yellow glow coming through the trees there. Now, don't forget, all of these settings here, like the blend mode, and of course, the flow and opacity, if you want to, look up here, you can set those before you paint. So you can see you've got opacity here, you've got flow here, and you've got the blend modes here. What I did is I simply actually just set them on normal first, did the painting across here, and then went down here to make the adjustments. Right, let's add a little bit of red to this background now. We want, um, we've got a nice little bit of yellow, which is sort of the sun going down, but we want a nice red hue to give it a bit of a lift. Now, be careful, if you are doing painting, make sure that you don't have the last paintbrush selected, which I have now. Make sure you've got it deselected, because the danger is you can end up painting over what you've already done. So make sure you've deselected your last paintbrush. In my case, this was yellow. Deselect, like so. Click back on paint up here. And let's go to our color swatch, and we're going to go for a nice red, dark red. Click on OK. Now, if you want to, you can set your blend mode first here. And you can adjust opacity and flow here. I prefer to just leave them all set to normal and then do my adjustments down here afterwards. So I'm going to click here, got my red selected, and let's just spray on a nice bit of dark red. Down here is the next brush that I've just used. I'm going to hit the return key and call that red. And I'm going to open the settings, open stroke options, and let's adjust the opacity and flow here. Let's take it down a bit. Uh, that should do. And I want to mix them in a little bit more. So on the blend mode, I'm going to put that onto a hard light. I'm not sure if that's made a huge difference, but it should have just mixed them a little bit more effectively. Let's see if multiply works. Not sure if that would darken it too much. Not too bad. It's made the trees go a little bit faded. I'm not entirely happy with that. I think I might just leave it back on. Hmm. Let's go for no, I think I'm going to leave it on hard light for the time being. And then let's go back to our flow. Take that back down. Maybe put the opacity back up a bit. That's a little bit better. So we've got a nice sort of warm red glow mixed in with some of the yellows. Again, as uh, people who are doing this tutorial, I'll leave it up to you to actually do the color balances that you're after. Right, let's close that back up. So we've got yellow, and now we've got a bit of red mixed in. But of course, the problem we've got now is that the foreground here, let me just switch off my paint tool. The foreground, of course, is a bit too bright. I think we all know that if the sun is actually going behind a building and a set of trees like it is here, let's say the sun is heading down behind this way, the foreground should actually be a little bit darker. It should have a slight shadow to it. So let's darken this entire foreground as well. Make sure you haven't got your last paint selected, so deselect it. Click on the paintbrush here, and I'm going to select a nice simple black. Click on OK. And for the brush size, I'm going to make this fairly big now. I'm going to put the diameter up to about a thousand. And I'm going to do a simple sweep across like so. That should do. And then I'm going to go back down here. And on this brush, I'm going to label this one shadow. And for the blend mode, I'm going to put it onto soft light. And if we look at this now, let's have a little look. I'm going to just pull this back down. Let's have a look at our foreground. That looks a little bit better. It should be a little bit darker. Oops, let me just turn the paintbrush off. 
So the foreground now is a little bit dark. I'll just show you the difference. That was the foreground before. It doesn't look quite right. That's the foreground after. I mean, arguably, you could possibly you leave that foreground off and say this is more like a sunrise in the morning, but I'm looking for more like a sunset. So I'm going to put that foreground shadow back on. And there we go. There are the results. So just to recap then, I put three paintbrushes on. Yellow with add. Red with hard light. And shadow with soft light. And here is the overall difference. This is before, and this is after. So in this country, if you've ever got any problems or issues with getting the right light and the right colour, shoot it flat and grey if you have to, like this image, then use the paint tools to give the effect that you're after. Okay folks, hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.